Well, hello everyone. And I'm so delighted that you could be here today because this is a great opportunity for me to get to introduce to you a good friend of mine, Marianne Sides. So Marianne, I'm wondering, would you be willing to start us out by telling us a little bit about yourself and your background? Well, thank you, Gloria. Um, first, I just want to thank you for this opportunity to be able to share my thoughts on this amazing ASEA technology and the breakthrough and what it means for us in our society. Uh, let me start with a little story. When I was six years old, I told my mom that I wanted to be a nurse. And she says, oh, you want to be a nurse? Well, then you have to work very hard. Nurses work very hard. And so the next day I was out in the backyard and I had a shovel and a hoe and a pick and a rake. And I was digging up the dirt and pulling out the weeds. And my mom came out and said, what are you doing back here? And I said, mom, I'm working very hard. Little did I know. Well, my dream came true. I followed my dream and I have been a nurse for over 50 years. And my background, I received the baccalaureate degree in nursing from DePaul University. My master's degree is from Loyola University. I'm a clinical nurse specialist and um, teaching adult health and um, maternal child health. I um, worked at a university, of, uh, Wisconsin and University of Chicago as an educator for many years. And um, I am also a retired Colonel, United States Air Force. Mm. And um, during um, my careers, uh, all three careers, uh, I would say that the uh, skill sets I cultivated are perfectly aligned with the SIA. So this is where I pledge my allegiance from here on in. I just want to share a little bit about that clinical experience that I had. Um, I was a troop commander in Operation Desert Storm, and following that operation, I was sent over to Operation Provide Comfort, and I flew totally about 2,000 hours, not just in that operation, but in my entire career in C-130 aircraft, air medical evacuation, transporting patients in peacetime and war. And this particular operation um, it was right across the um, border from Iraq and into Turkey and in Diyarbakir, Turkey. And we had flights 24 seven. Some of the patients that I transported were critical burns um, uh, from the fuel truck explosions and um, little children, eight and 10 years old, whose legs were blown off by stepping on landmines. American soldiers in combat who had killed and they were suffering from post-traumatic st stress and I helped them work through this very difficult time. And it goes on and on. So we were 24 seven flying and uh, ground care of these patients. So that probably was one of my most difficult challenges over the years. Oh, yeah, so, I think it would be. Yeah, so I, I guess um, that uh, that is you know a little synopsis of my of my clinical. Um, so, yeah, back. thank you, thank you for sharing um, more about your background, and I just really want to honor the the courage and the strength and resiliency that it's taken for you to stay present with all those different situations and to support all those people. So when we think about these upcoming this upcoming webinar series um, that we're going to be having here, I'm wondering if you could share a little bit around what the purpose of them will be, as well as the goals or um, what it is it that we're hoping to accomplish with it. Absolutely, Gloria. Great questions. Well, first I want to say uh, I would like to share uh, the enthusiasm I have about this opportunity. Uh, I, am, I am so passionate about um, the, the Redox technology and what it brings to us in terms of helping people uh, having hope for their future when maybe some of the other traditional means were 
at the end of the ropes and there was no longer hope for them. So I am, I'm so passionate and enthusiastic about this. And um, I just wanted to share that first. But as far as um, the purpose, the purpose of these mini sessions that we're gonna be having is to help explain in very simple terms what the paradigm shift in thinking is because we need to understand where we've gone over the years uh, from illness moving to wellness. And the paradigm shift is truly a quantum leap in our thinking because whoever thought that we would be able to drink molecules and that it would empower our body to heal itself. I mean, that is something that's foreign to our thinking and that is what the shift is. And that's what causes disbelief sometimes in people or, you know, they say, well, nothing like that can work. So the best way I think to really make that shift and, and truly believe is to understand. And we as associates are educators, the educators, we inform people, we help them become aware. And that's what we do. And when people are informed and educated and, and are aware, they're more likely to believe that this is something that can work because you do have to believe. And so um, as we go through these many sessions, one of the things that I want to accomplish is to explain the physiology of how our body works. It doesn't work any differently than it ever worked, but we never knew, even those who are educated and who work in the field, don't know necessarily how the body works. Uh, we never had to really know that kind of depth. And I don't want us to have to know depth. I want to present the physiology and how our body works. What is energy? You know, what does redox mean? What's a molecule? And just something very basic that really enlightens us and illuminates our thinking to say, well, I, I know that, I understand that. And we don't have to have a lot of depth. We don't need to be doctors. Uh, anyone can do this. And so to present this simply, I think is really important. Mm. And once we do that, then what we're going to be doing is every week in the five weeks of this series, we are going to focus in on one of the pathways, um, the major conceptual pathways, and look at what is the alteration? One very first one we're going to do is inflammation. And can anybody define inflammation? It's it's very difficult when you get down to it. And say, well, you know, I I don't know. It's I don't know. And we need to know what it is. And then we need to know what does the body look like and how does it behave when there is one of these pathway um, altered conditions. And then what can redox do to enable and to empower the body to heal itself? Because that's the process. And we will spend, you know, five weeks doing this. And uh, one of the um, systems each week. And then what I'm going to do is culminate with um, describing holist a holistic model of health. And we as people it's not just all about the physical problem. It's about the mental, the cognitive, the emotional, the spiritual. It's holistic. When we help people, we help the whole person, the whole person. And that's the beauty of what we're able to do here as we impose the redox signaling molecules upon our bodies. We have to create an environment of holistic our holistic self, all of that's a part of that. So what are those components? Well, hydration, sleep, exercise, our diet, stress management, and our mindset. And these are the variables. These are the components that we have to create the environment, the milieu within ourselves so that the redox signaling molecules can really do their job. So... That's what we're going to do. And I am exciting. <laughs> um, well, then who should attend these webinars? And why would you suggest that they attend them? Well, I think everybody should 
if they can. Anyone who can attend should, because we all are losing 10% of our molecules every 10 years. And we are all in a decline trajectory of rust. And again, say the word decline, our bodies are declining. And when we were born, we had plenty of molecules. But when we reach the puberty around that time, we are losing our molecules. So everyone can benefit from this to learn how it can be helpful. Now, if you're a, a brand new associate, well, this would be a great training. This would be uh, a nice um, uh, foundation for understanding. If you're a seasoned associate, it would be remediation. It would be refreshing. Uh, and if you are a guest, and we will be inviting guests to these uh, um, events. If you're a guest, well, would it be okay if we added an extra paycheck to your income every week? If it isn't the right time for you to become an associate, you just wanna have the information, perhaps you could be, become a customer, get started as a customer. And would it be okay if we helped you feel better as you take a SIA? So that pretty much takes care of everybody, your associate, your seasoned, or your, your, your new, or your guest. And um, I'm looking forward to meeting everyone who's able to participate. And we will have a question and answer uh, session uh, after the presentations. Well, it sounds amazing. I really like how you are planning to step in to provide the scientific information in a very clear and simple way that will empower everyone to have the freedom to speak freely about these genetic pathways and how the redox supplement really does support healing and growth. So that's, that's I think it's also, oh, <laughs> I also want to just add our little disclaimer that with a CA Redox, we do not diagnose, treat, or cure anything, but we are here to be educators, to invite you to ask more questions and to learn and soak up all this wonderful information. I'm Thank looking you. forward to our time together, Marion. It will be really fun. It will be. And if you have any questions, please feel free to send an email to Gloria at healingusanctuary.com or you can catch us on Facebook. We'd love to address any questions you have in advance. Thank you. Thank you.